Workout Seats Explained. Welcome back to the Power Public YouTube channel. Thanks to everyone that's been following us on Instagram and Facebook over the last few weeks. It's been blowing up. We've been getting some great posts on there. So if you haven't checked that out already, you can head on over. Today's video, we're talking go-kart racing seats and all their different sizes and varieties. Now, go-kart seats are a great tuning tool once you get to those top levels. And right now, here in Southeast Queensland, we're gonna have the biggest race of 2020, which will be the Queensland State Titles. Okay, so one of the most important things about go-kart seats is it holds your body in the cart. So if the cart seat is too big, it's not gonna hold your body and you're gonna be flopping around. And if it's too tight, you're not gonna fit in there and like the comfort level is going down, 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 and then you're not concentrating on what you're supposed to be doing, which is super fast lap times. So being comfortable in the seat, especially if you're a new guy, is super important. Once you develop your skills and you're really racing for you know first position, say in the state titles, you can sort of disregard some of the comfort factors because you're bringing up the performance level and something that's not super duper comfortable might be performing better and you're just gonna have to put up with it. But if you're brand new to karting, Get yourself a seat that you fit in firmly, but are still super comfortable. When it comes to comfort, there's all different types of seats for all different sort of shapes and bodies. Okay, so the first one we're gonna talk about is the Tony Kart seats. Now, the beauty of the Tony Kart seat is the rigidity. Now, it's a standard rigidity. It's not super stiff, but it's not super soft. Rigidity is key for tuning your chassis. Now, the carts are designed around these, and this is what I recommend if you are using a Tony Kart. It's the standard Tony Kart seat. Now, say you were complaining that the car was hopping maybe too much or you just weren't quite happy with the rigidity of the car, well, you could change it to one of the softer seats like the Jekko. Now, the Jekko here is an open edge seat and with that in mind, the seat is actually very flexible. Now, when we're talking about flexibility, it's how much you can sort of squeeze the chair together when you give it the old squeeze test as opposed to sort of the the Tony Kart seat, you know, it's really quite rigid and you can feel that if you had the two seats together. Also to note here, the Jekko is silver. Uh, no, duh, Des, yeah, I can see that. Okay, it's a silver seat. Now that's aluminium weave in the fiberglass, they tell me. So when they lay the seats in the mold, it's already got the aluminium sort of silver look to it. And then it's all set up. And that's what gives this seat its unique appearance. So while we're still on the topic of rigidity, another seat that you can use that has a lot softer feel to it is the T11 VG. So the Tillet T11 VG handmade seats are also very flexible. This is the softest seat really that we're gonna put in a go-kart. So you can see on the camera there that the, the fibers are almost exposed here on the bottom of the seat. And that's because they've used the least amount of resin possible to hold the fiberglass in position. And that's what adds to the soft state of this seat. Now, these seats are excellent here in Australia. It's almost the go-to in a lot of categories, but especially in the Rotax light and tag categories, where you're racing on the Mojo tires or the MGs with a Rotax engine, the guys love this seat in the Tony Karts. So th there is a variation in these Tillet seats. They have a huge range of different rigidities and also to some that are handmade like this one or machine made like this one. And you can see the difference on the back. So this is a machine made seat and you can see there's an entry point here for the resin where they eject the resin into the mold. And we've got some runners on the back of the seat that you can see running out in all directions. And that's distributing the resin into the mold when they're making this uh, seat. And that makes this seat a tiny little bit more rigid than the hand laid seat because there is a little bit more resin in it. It's still very flexible though. Some of the other construction methods that you can find out there in go-kart world are an IMAF Mini or a Rib Tech Carbon. Now, as you can see, these seats are very different. This is silver again, like our Jekko example we showed you earlier. This seat here is for the Bambinos or the very small kids and it's a cut down version. So depending on your body shape, if you're a very small driver, something like this could really suit you. It's got the silver uh, fibers in the weave, whereas this one here is black and it's carbon fiber. Now carbon fiber is incredibly strong and incredibly rigid. 
When you put these guys in the go-kart, you're going to see an increase in rigidity in the car by bolting this seat to it. It does have a unique form. So if you are a bigger guy and maybe, say, your ribs, you've had some problems with your ribs, this one wraps right around. They are quite comfortable, but it is a very unique shape. So you want to make sure that you can test them out before you buy one. So as you can see on the back, we've got some carbon fiber ribbing here. It's a composite seat. They are excellent. I've driven in them before. Uh, I thought it was a fantastic seat, and especially under some circumstances. I'm sure it's not going to fit everybody and work in all conditions. And just like all things in karting, it's not going to work for everybody, but it might just work for you. And the only way you're going to find out is to get it and try it at your local track with the tires that you're going to use in the class that you're running in the conditions that you run in predominantly. Now we are talking comfort earlier and using different seats to sort of accommodate the different body shapes that we all have. So some guys might like the Tillet, some guys like the Tony car. If you've got some rib problems, you could get that fantastic carbon rib tech. But another thing that's really great for protecting your ribs is seat padding. You can buy these and they're relatively inexpensive. They do have a sticky back on them, um, sticky back glue. So you just peel off the adhesive cover and stick it onto the seat. But I will say this, that once you stick these things onto the seat, the only way to get them off is to destroy them by ripping them to pieces. And the glue mostly stays stuck to the fiberglass. So if you did want to get your way around that, so instead of removing the sticky back cover here on the back, you can just stick the seat pads in with some race tape onto the seat into the position that you need. And then that way, if you need to get to the seat bolts or you need to remove it for whatever reason, you can just peel it straight off. When it comes to seat padding, don't be scared. If you've got a little bit extra room up here or down below and you've been flopping around, you can double that padding up. It will stick to itself. You can stick it double thickness with race tape. We've even used three pieces on one side for one driver that had a, a problem with his ribs and we really wanted to give him that extra cushion. So the seat padding kit is really good for customizing your seat fit in your go-kart. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing, turning on those pesky notifications. Otherwise, just give us a good old thumbs up. We really appreciate it and we couldn't do it without you. You can sign up to our YouTube membership section if you like. The link is in the description below. Also too, I mentioned at the start of the video, we have been really focusing heavily on our Instagram and Facebook. So feel free to follow along at Power Republic on Instagram or Facebook. We can go to our amazing website, www.powerpublic.com.au. Get yourself a t-shirt or a brand new Tony Cut. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Oh, I reckon I'm just going to ace it. Jordan. Three. So I'm just going to look at the camera. So the first one we're going to talk about is the Tony Kart Racing Seat. 